My wife said I had it a lot longer than everybody thinks we've had it. But again, you don't know that because if one of you to get ahead and go to bed at night and you wake up in the morning and your arm feels funny, you know, you just kind of shake it off. You know, and that happens. You say, well, I laid on it wrong or whatever. Or if you bump into something, you say that, yeah, I bumped into something yesterday and that's what hurt me. Well, guess what? You find out maybe years ago that that arm hurt you and the headache you had may have been signs of your MS. And you could have had it then. My name is Shelley Skidelsky. I'm retired. been living in Florida for the past 16 years. My wife and I have a little business down here that we just play around with. And I have had... Um, well, let me say um, MS, but I also have this other illness with it called CIDP, which is Chronic Inflammatory Demyelinating Polyneuropathy. They say that I have more of the CIDP than I do of the MS. They're very similar, but a lot of less, less people have it throughout the United States. I'm Marilyn Skidelsky. I'm Shelley's wife. The mother of six and the grandmother of ten and three quarters. Went to doctors and did... Uh, MRI and the MRI proved positive spots on my brain and spots on my spine so I asked them so what is that and they said that looks like you have MS Shaw. I said okay so what I'm not feeling wrong, anything wrong what's the big deal no so then I had to go to a neurologist he saw me for the first how many five minutes and put the sheets up on the wall and pictures and he says oh here you got CIDP he said, here, come on, stand over here. So I was standing, looking at the, um, uh, the like bed or table, you know, you lay in a doctor's office, but I'm facing it and he's behind me and Marilyn's behind me, my wife. He said, just stand there. And I guess he went in and he took a, a needle that was about a foot long or whatever and stuck it somewhere in my lower back, okay? And then pulled it out. She was watching and she almost fainted and I felt nothing. Didn't even know he was there. So we knew we were in deep trouble. And that was the start of our CIDP. Hands don't work. Hands hurt from fingertips up to midpoint here by your elbow, uh, below your elbow. Feet, bottoms are terrible. Goes up your ankle to part of your leg. Can't walk without something hard on my foot. I can't walk barefoot at all. I must walk with shoes. I like to wear loafers because it's easier to put them in and out, but I have a, um, a piece that I put inside my shoe that makes it hard because with walking barefoot or with something soft in my shoe, if I go outside and step on a stone, the pain is excruciating. You know, just to be a little stone, a little rock, whatever. So I can't do that. I'm treated for that, maybe a little bit different than an MS patient is because I get an IVIG in my arm every 30 days for the past 10 or 12 years. Um, it is the antibodies of healthy people that they pu are pump pumping into my body. And they do that every four weeks and I go in the hospital for it and I come out when I'm done and uh, that's it. People say, all right, you feel pumped up today, Shell? And I say, no, it doesn't work that way, you know? But I'm here. We've tried every other alternative. We've done the bee stings. We've done the don't drink anything with some kind of sweetener in it. We've done everything that we could do here and that the doctors could do here. I am a firm believer in if it's out there, there's no harm in it, go for it. I believe in the um, umbilical cord all the way. As a layman, and a, just an in, individual walking down the street, I think that if they can put something into my body that's from a healthy young child and get it to regenerate things in my body, I don't have to be a doctor to have somebody tell me, wow, that's be pretty cool, which I really think that's the way to go. If someone says to me, you know, so did the stem cell work? I probably stay quiet. My wife comes forward and says, yes, it did. Now, here's a woman that sees me daily and nightly for the past, you know, umpteen years. So she knows, um, do I feel that when I came back from China that now all of a sudden I could go play baseball? Absolutely not. Uh, do my hands still hurt me? Without a question. My feet still bother me? Absolutely. 
Are there some days I walk better than others? Without a question. So you learn to live with what it is. A little teeny thing like he can, Shelly can um, stand and not fall down when he closes his eyes. That's big. My eyes in the shower are, uh, yeah, they're, they were terrible in the beginning before I had your treatment. The, uh, I had to, I had to put bars in my shower. So, because when you close your eyes and you have MS and CIDP, you close your eyes and hold your head up, you lose all of your equilibrium. You start falling backwards, you know, which is kind of crazy. So, um, after I had the stem cell, I noticed that that did get a little better. They saw no difference in me. My neurologist, same spots, no more. Nothing, you know, nothing uh, advanced anymore. Um, my legs are still um, dead when they hit my knee, you know, with the mallet, those are dead. I could confidently recommend to other people that by taking the treatment, it won't hurt them. That by taking the treatment, it'll help them or feel better? No, I wouldn't do that. My wife may, I don't know, you ask her, but I wouldn't, no. I do not see a decrease in anything that he's doing. And this is something that supposedly gets worse. We have friends who have mothers, sisters, their neighbor, everyone knows of someone who has MS, and they have progressively gotten worse and have had the pain and everything. And here's Shell. He's beaten the odds. I mean, he's, with everything stacked against him, I have to say that, that the stem cells would work. Would I recommend to anyone to do that? Oh, yes, I would. Big, borrow, steal, get a jamboree going, whatever it is you have to do, make it a community project and do it. I do not think it is going to come to this country for a long time. My best endorsement can be my son and his wife are gonna have a baby any moment. If that baby needs something, I would not stop in this country. I would go wherever it took to get the best fix you possibly could.